Thank you, uh, Speaker. Deputy President, when the integration process of the former soldiers of the liberation movement was completed in 2001, it was reported that 44,143 names appeared on the collective non-statutory force certified personnel register. Of this number, 15,805 were integrated into the defense force. 9,771 were demobilized and 13,107 were neither integrated nor demobilized. The question is, does the government know what has since happened to those who were neither integrated or demobilized? And what are the risks that these abandoned soldiers pose to the country's security and rising rates of violent crimes? Thank you very much. Honorable Deputy President. Thank you very much. Uh, I think those who were not demobilized, those who were not integrated, the respective um, political formations know these cadres. They know them. In the case of MK, they know them. But we don't want to assume, that's why we've opened up this verification process for them to come so that they can be verified and be registered formally so that they can access these benefits. That's the process that we're taking. As much as we know them, but we don't want to be conclusive, that is why we have set up this testing, this work stream, to verify them so that going forward we are quite certain that we are supporting the right people thank you very much the honorable the last supplementary question will be asked by the 